Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will set up the Ethernet module for the IOLINK Master, enabling the EX260 and other IOLINK devices. During the video, we will show you the equipment and software that you need and show you step by step how to complete it. In the end, we will verify PLC driven actuation working through IOLINK control from the EX260 port valve station process data. Let's get started. These are the parts and tools you will need for your valve manifold to do work when your IOLINK module is ready. You'll need a PC, software, and network communication as well. Please review the IOLINK EX260 hardware setup video prior to this one. Also, check out the EX260 network and IP address video before proceeding. First, complete the tubing for the pneumatic circuit with the valve and actuators. Turn on your air source. Test the actuators with the manual overrides for proper airflow. Now, let's set up the IOLINK master for the PLC. Download the EDS file from the IOLINK master manufacturer. Also, download all necessary files for PLC access support, referring to manufacturer specifications. Now, with the IOLINK network running, start a session of Studio 5000. Then, select and add the IOLINK Master EDS file and click Finish. Right click on the Ethernet scanner in the controller organizer and select New Module. Isolate and select the commercial IOLINK Master brand. Then, in the Select Module Type table, highlight the IOLINK Master Model and click Create. In the New Module table, first enter the IP address previously set for the unit. Then, enter the desired unit name. Before moving on, click Change, then change the data type to Integer, then click OK. Then save the program and go into Who Active. Then highlight and download it to the PLC. Make sure you follow the screen to complete the download. And change over to Run Mode. And finally, we will go into the controller tags. Note the tag device descriptions that were added as helpful labels for the IOLINK master port functions. Now actuate the valve by firing the EX260 solenoid bits from the register. And now we can see that the actuator is running from the valve through IOLINK and the EX260. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our other technical training videos to assist in controlling your automation processes.